why do we use low efficacy drugs to treat MS? I think one of the reasons is the sins of our fathers. I'm going to explain what I mean by that right now. Howdy, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center speaking to you today about the sins of our fathers and why I think people with MS are subjected to low efficacy drugs. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe and make sure to click the notifications button to get all of our latest content. Why do we have an escalation model in multiple sclerosis? It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I think in part, the reason we have an escalation model is because the sins of our fathers. What do I mean by sins of our fathers? I'll explain it as such. The men and women who trained me come from an era where they remember when there were no medicines. When you go from having nothing to treat the disease to having anything to treat the disease, that's a revolution, and it really is a revolution. Over the subsequent 15 years, many low efficacy drugs came to market with very, very similar side effect profiles. Interferons of all kinds of different flavors and glutamic acetate are very safe medications, all things considered. And the men and women who adopt these medicines became very comfortable, very at ease administering them and knowing every trick and tip on how to take these low efficacy drugs. If you fast forward 10 to 15 years, we have now developed much more effective, they're better drugs, and yet they're way more complex. They have way more complexity immunologically, mechanistically, and the side effect profile is more intense. It's my belief that many of the men and women that initially adopted these low efficacy drugs and now find themselves 20 years later, considering sort of the end of their careers, they are disinclined to aggressively adopt these complex and sometimes scary new therapies, which happen to work better. Now, these are the men and women that trained my generation of MSologists, and they taught us this nonsensical, if you will, bias of start with something low and easy, low efficacy but safe, and only if the patient does bad do you escalate. Well, if the patient does bad, that means they have brain damage, and you can't give that back to them. And it makes no sense to me why you would subject a human to a low efficacy drug knowing full well that there are drugs that are better. And these are the men and women that I refer to when I talk about sins of our fathers. As I train fellows, as I train the next generation of MSologists, I do not carry the sins of my fathers forward. My fellows and my trainees have to suffer from my sins. And it is my desire to apply high efficacy drugs as early as possible in a patient who is as comfortable as they can be with that therapy. And in doing so, I think that we change the long-term course of the disease. We have to move away from the past. We want to celebrate it, but we want to move past it. This is Aaron Boster with Ohio Health sharing my own personal philosophy. I hope that I've not offended anyone, but I, I felt like I needed to say it. If you liked what you heard today, or even if you didn't, but you want to hear more, please subscribe down below and leave me your comments and tell me your thoughts on sins of our fathers. I want to hear from you. Take care.